Hey, what's going on everybody? E back with another action figure review. And today we are looking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends What If Doctor Strange Supreme from the Watcher Build the Figure Wave. So this is, I guess, technically Disney Plus Wave 2. And the entire wave is based off of What If, except for one figure, which is Sylvie from the Loki series. So I figured it was... um. Only fitting that I start off the reviews with the Doctor Strange Supreme since this is the most recent episode that literally came out yesterday and it was probably my favorite episode and my most like WTF and holy crap reaction to an episode from this series so far. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So here we have Doctor Strange as you can see him through the window packaging. We have some very nice art on the side. Pretty much um, the animated, you know, art from the show. You can see the back side right there. And then we get the rest of the wave lined up. You can see everybody here to build our Watcher. And it is Zombie Captain America, T'Challa Star-Lord, Captain Carter, Zombie Hunter Spidey, of course, Doctor Strange Supreme. Then we have Heist Nebula and then Sylvie, of course. And then the read-up at the top of the box reads, When an unforeseen event changes Stephen Strange's perspective on life, the path he chooses is one filled with even darker magic. So guys, I got my shipment from BBTS, so I recommend you guys check out the link down in the description below if you guys want to order yourself a set of What If Marvel Legends from Big Bad Toy Store. So if you haven't seen the Doctor Strange episode, uh, which is the most recent one, I highly recommend you guys go watch it. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I mean, I can't say it's a pretty wild episode. It's it's pretty dark. We all saw the Avengers episode. Um, that was pretty dark too, but this one's a little bit, a tad, a tad bit more darker. It's getting crazy. Um, and what's funny is that when Hasbro actually revealed these figures for the first time, of course, none of us have seen any of the episodes. Um, I honestly could care less about this Doctor Strange. And after seeing that episode... The first thing I said is I want that figure now. Definitely made me want to get this figure. Um, so it made me even more excited. I'm even more excited now to review it. This is why this is the first one I'm doing. Um, not only because it's the most recent episode, but honestly, I want the figure now. So I think it's uh, it's definitely worth waiting till you watch all the episodes in case you're on the fence about this line or uh, not the line, but this wave. Uh, because once you watch the episode, it's gonna, it's gonna make you want it, just like the T'Challa episode makes you want to have the figure. Captain Carter episode makes you want to have, you know, want the figure too. So definitely the show is doing these figures justice. Um, so let's get right into it here. He comes packaged like this with these hands attached and no cape. So the cape is a separate piece. So that's one of the accessories that he comes with. So I guess we'll jump right into that. And you can see the inside is very nicely painted and sculpted. They did a pretty good job with this, to be honest. This, you know, to paint something that's all warped around like this and sculpted in this way, pretty dope. Uh, and then here's the back, which you can still see the sculpted lines, but it's all black there with the gold on the edges. So that's one of his accessories. And then we get one alternate hand, which is a right hand with one of these, um, you know, Doctor Strange effects coming out of his fingertips. Um, and this is another one of those um, molds where the entire mold is this green translucent plastic and they just painted over the hand for the skin tone. So you kind of see the green a little bit underneath the skin, just a tad bit. You know, it just needs like one more coat to kind of cover it all. Uh, but other than that, you're not going to see it when you're posing it like that. But there's that. And then that's it. Really, he doesn't come with much. Uh, the next piece he comes with is the build a figure for our watcher. And it is the left leg of the watcher, which is kind of freaky to look at or kind of funny to look at since it's just a bare naked leg but it's going to be covered by the robe anyways but it's kind of funny you can see it is pinless though so that's pretty dope so that's all the accessories so let's take a closer look at dr strange supreme all right so here is your closer look at dr strange supreme and here's a look at his face sculpt which came out pretty darn good especially if you've seen the episode you know what he looks like now and it looks pretty spot on in my opinion uh I think they did a good job there now I do have the cape on attached and that looks even better this game looking straightforward pretty pretty nice there you can also see here all the uh, texture and all the sculpting going on for this new outfit 
or costume or whatever you want to call it for Doctor Strange Supreme. And down here you see all the texture down to the legs and the boots. Now the knees are pinned, looks like those are reused, but the uh, elbows are pinless, so they do mix and match every now and then. The cape is only held by a little peg, so it does tend to kind of fall off sometimes if you move it around a lot like this. But it'll stay on once you pose him up just fine with no issue, and he definitely looks a lot better with the cape on. Gets the whole entire image, gets the entire, um, you know, character into play here now and there's the back side and then here's a look at him with that effect piece on or his alternate hand with the effect right there you see he's a little bit rough but then you know you're really not going to be seeing that hand too much unless you're looking at it from the side but overall the figure looks great check that out I do like the uh, paint on the hair too you can see the the white where the hair and the sculpt of the hair is fantastic too. So super nice there. The head sculpt is definitely the best part of this figure for sure. So there you have it. Alright, so checking out the articulation on Doctor Strange. We have a ball jointed peg, which is very flexible. You can see here, we also do get a, uh, a articulated neck. So that helps with the movement too. So he looks up about that high. He looks down about that low. Left and right, no problem. Head tilts are very nicely done there so you can get some very nice poses like that so pretty dope I did take the cape off so I can showcase the articulation a little bit better there's the peg the shoulders um, they do not have a butterfly joint no they don't so they go up or they go out I should say about this far so let's pan out just a little bit All right so there you go uh, then they do go all the way around forward and back bicep swivel we have a double jointed pinless elbow, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. We have a diaphragm joint at the, well not really diaphragm, I guess it's a ball jointed waist. There is no torso crunch or diaphragm joint. So just the waist, but it is a ball joint. So it goes all the way around like this, goes forward and back, side to side, swivel. Separate piece for the uh, little skirt piece here. Uh, it will hinder a little bit of movement, but you can see the leg does still kick forward. The left leg is probably going to have some more range because of that cut. There you go. Uh, then we do get a thigh swivel. Legs go in and out about this far, so it's not too much. Again, because of this piece, obviously. Then we have double jointed knees. We have a boot cut shin swivel, ankle hinge at the foot, and then there's the rocker at the foot right there, and there you have it. All right, so we are going to kick off the comparisons here next to an MCU Doctor Strange. Now, let me explain real quick because this is the SH Figuarts version of the MCU Doctor Strange. Um, it is the only MCU Doctor Strange figure I own right now. Um, a couple years back, I uh, made the choice to narrow down my collection and I narrowed down by getting rid of some MCU figures. Uh, so I had to pick and choose between lines and I ultimately decided to uh, pick to keep the MCU SH Figuarts Strange over the Marvel Legends version. Um, I probably shouldn't have. I, I kind of wish I had that Doctor Strange. The specific one I had was the one from the three pack with Thanos. And it was a pretty uh, pretty good one. And as most of us know, uh, SH Figuarts scales a little bit shorter and sometimes their likeness are not spot on. Uh, they, they, they're kind of struggling with the likeness of um, MCU and human-like characters or actors from the movies. But anyways, this is all I got for right now. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, I cannot compare them next to any Marvel Legends Doctor Strange. I will say, though, I, I, I'm i probably going to go ahead and pick up a Legends version Strange now. And here he is next to another Disney Plus figure. Uh, we have John Walker, Captain America. And from our Wave 1 of Disney Plus Legends, uh, I'll throw in Loki, and he's a pretty tall figure next to Doctor Strange. So as of the recording of this video, Shang-Chi comes out in theaters tonight, um, so I figured I'd throw him in here. So here's the Shang-Chi uh, Marvel Legends movie figure. Alright guys, and there you have it. That is my review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends Doctor Strange Supreme from the Disney Plus Wave 2. The what if watcher build a figure wave. 
figure is excellent. It's even more excellent now that I've seen the episode. I'm sure if I played around with this figure before I saw the episode, I'd be not as pleased with it as I am now that I have seen it. So definitely watch the episode if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, this is a great uh, figure overall. I think they're doing a pretty good job with the What If series. Stay tuned for more of those figure reviews coming up next, all right? Leave a like down below. Leave your thoughts in the comments and subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, take care and have a great day. Bye. Crispy.